Let's look for a way down. Ooh. Welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil Revelations 2. I'm Burning Dog Face, and we are here at the entrance to the Mines of Zebitij. Or however the hell that's pronounced. Oh. If the frame rate would stop hitching up, we'd be ready to go downstairs. Huh, look at that. Magnum ammo. I'm glad I, uh, remembered to get that. I mean, after hold consciously holding back ooh, the first time. Oh, piss drink. Uh, there was no way I was going to leave that behind. Hmm, this is no good. All right, cloth combined with uh, yes. Then, uh, uh, okay, I'm just not stacking things efficiently, is the problem, it turns out. Oh, no, not that. Uh, yeah. Okay! I guess probably don't need to be carrying shotgun shells. I'm just right here on the floor. A. Oh, yes. Yeah, that's right. If we lose this place, then the island's done for. Also, here's this. Uh, right. Oh, right, I changed that, I guess I changed that after I got here. Okay. Yes, that's a great idea. Let's just spin the thing around. Oh, boy. Let's see. Last time I was kind of depressed as I played. The time before that I tried being angry. And you know what? I wouldn't recommend either of those approaches. Yeah, we can't actually go down there right now, or we will really, really die. I'm sure that's not important. Wait. Oh, thank you, Barry. I didn't know they could think to do that on their own. Oh, yes, I did. That's right. Moira did it when, uh, whenever we went to an indoor area. Alright, I am, in fact, dying of, uh, Just curiosity, so, okay. uh... <coughs> the fuck, Barry? You, want, you don't want to climb down the ladder? Okay, fine. This All elevator right. might be our ticket down. Does this door open? It does. But there's more gas this way, and more places to explore in this direction. I'm going to be very fucking thorough about this, you believe it. Why am I looking up? Oh, right, because there could be plates up there. Oh, what's that? Oh, no, it's just the lights changing colors. Why are there lights in this tower? Are they afraid it's going to be hit by any aircraft? Because, um... I see a flaw with that, you know, thought. That's a ventilation system. If we can get it working, it might clear out the gas for us. Oh, it's just rusty. I was going to ask how it got blood on it. I mean, I get that it's a Resident Evil game, but, you know... Look where it is! Someone would have to jump out there and wang his head on the side of the thing, then cling to it and bleed on it for a little before letting go. It's not a very easy thing to do. Well, I assume. I've never actually tried that. 
I can't imagine wanting to. Alright, there's some dudes in this direction. And a tiny red. Hang on, wasn't there a brick back there? Why aren't you carrying it? I just assumed she saw it went out of her way to go grab him. If that's a tiny red, that means there's a bug there. Maybe the uh maybe if I kill all the insect larvae and berries uh S uh, scenarios, then uh, Claire and uh, Moira won't ha will retroactively not have to deal with any. Oh, oh damn! I guess I'd leave him behind through the door, huh? Which means she did grab it because it was sitting right next to the other door, huh? My apologies, Natalia. Oh, there you are. Where did the tiny red go? It's moving, so I don't think it's actually here. Oh, right, I can see it through the wall, that's why. Okay, wait. Let's just, uh... That doesn't make a lick of sense to me. Just check. Why can't they all be that easy? Oh, I learned a random tidbit. Uh, the reason that the afflicted turn into the rotten after a period of time is because, you know, they may have been infected with T. Phobos. I'm not controlling Natalia, I don't know why I'm squatting. They may have been infected with the T. Phobos virus, but it's still a variant on the, uh, the T virus. So you give it long enough and it will turn you into a rotting corpse monster. As opposed to just a mindless, you know, Fear Maniac. Ah, yes, we can't go back up is the problem. Fuck. Just stay there. Okay. Oh. Oh, Jesus, I thought he got back up. Now he's just wondering why his friend is dead. Ah, oh, the hell with it. <coughs> no. And we both rise. Ah! Back off! Okay, this is bad, this is bad. Let's make this less bad. I wasn't even sure that- oh, another one! Oh, he's just fucking dead. Now get out of the damn gas! Natalia! Holy shit! I gave you one instruction, and that was stand over there! I wish she was worried. Oh. Also, I think I saw a sparkle, like, right there. As she was jumping down. Oh. Too far. I did get that range upgrade. Ah, 
I also didn't actually know this, but I confirmed that this uh, is the first time in the franchise that Barry Burton was ever a playable character. He was just uh, support in Resident Evil 1. You could only play as Chris Redfield or Jill Valentine. If you've played the remake of uh, RE2, I understand they kept the, uh, the two separate scenarios for Leon and Claire. It's uh, basically the same thing in the first game. You, uh, either the main character is uh, Leon or Claire, and whichever one you don't pick becomes a supporting character. Get a breath, and go read that lore. Mine Worker's Diary 2, written in Russian this time. April 2nd. Sometimes the researchers carry these boxes to the back rooms. I accidentally caught a glimpse inside one. It looked... looked human. Or, like it used to be. But that's crazy. I mean, that's crazy, right? No, no, no. My imagination is just running wild. You can't do that kind of thing. Still, it makes the mind think things. Can't help but be a little worried for my family now. April 15th. So, my imagination got the best of me. I had to know what was inside of those boxes. God damn it, be careful what you wish for. It was human bodies. Our bodies. The bodies of my fellow islanders. All chopped up into pieces. Research? This is nothing more than sick, twisted murder! Those boxes, they've been coming through every day. To think that every time... That woman! We trusted her! We thought she was helping us! Instead, she's just using us. April 25th. I thought maybe I'd overreacted a bit. I thought I'd give her a chance to explain. I asked her to meet with me, but she ignored my request. So it's come to this. I'll force the truth out of her. Just apply a little pressure and she'll cop to what's been going on here. I've been working hard all my life and she's a little, a thin little woman. I can overpower her, easily. I don't like the idea, but something must be done and I'm all out of ideas, uh, 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 all out of options here. Someone needs to stand up and do what's right. Might as well be me. I'm coming for you, Alex. You're gonna regret the day you decided to mess with us. More air. Alright, the bug I saw should be in there? Come with me. Sorry, can't. Oh, right, because of the nature of the puzzle. Hmm. This will be no good if I don't have a brick to use on it. doesn't feel good. Really? No, I didn't think so. Okay, how about you go over here? Oh, she kept the brick with her. Tag out! It did feel very strange to leave the uh, grown man behind with a little girl ventured into the, uh, the poison gas. I must say... Push it too far to get the thing. Oh, hey, we're dying. Breathe, Barry, breathe! I keep looking up for, like, plates just sitting on the ceiling. I can't remember if I've mentioned it or not in this series, but apparently it's just a known phenomenon that humans don't look up as often as other directions. No! I can't get my brick back. Now what the fuck am I going to do? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to fucking shoot some bullets at that wall. Oh. Great. Only Barry can do it. Yeah, uh, no points for guessing that's what the, uh, the boxes were about. Pieces of human bodies, all chopped up. 
No, oh, there's a brick right there. But I only have one more chance! The gas really doesn't make it easy to see stuff, I will say that. Oh, there's bricks in there. Okay. Strange bug. Ew, bug. <laughs> what are the are the adults called? Glasps. That's what it was. It's a great bad name. I like that. It's not as obviously stupid as Vulcan Blubber, but it still sounds silly for some reason. Also, yes, this is full of body parts. I just wanted to acknowledge that. I was not oblivious to that. Holy fuck, it goes on forever! That's a dead end and I'm gonna die. Wait. Gun. Oh, a different Magnum. Magnum 2005M. One of the most powerful Magnums. Difficult to reload and limited customization. Well, if it weren't for the fact that this game relies entirely on auto saves, I would be very curious about difficult to reload and check that out. I mean, considering that one of the pistols in Resident Evil 4 was a clip loader. Like, you literally stack all the bullets on a, like a metal, uh... Well, it is this little piece of metal and slide them in. Like a magazine without the box part. Hey, Barry. Jesus, I... I feel like if Natalia fired that gun, she would just be knocked right the fuck over. Aha! Vindicated. If you find every gem in the game, the last cutscene shows, uh... Barry and Natalia covered in bling. That's a lie. <laughs> I made that up. I wonder if that thing about the T-Virus means that the tyrants would eventually devolve into rotting and, uh, disintegration. <laughs> Hearing a little girl cough like that really doesn't feel good, does it? Like, that last one there was a smoker's cough. I have just suddenly had a very vivid memory. I had the amusing thought of, you know, what if I find a plate here while I'm Natalia? I'll just be able to point at it. But then I imagined breaking it by pointing at it, which in turn reminded me of an unlockable that I never got my hands on, because I think it requires you to 100% the game, from uh, Dead Space 2, which consisted of a giant foam we're number one hand that you point at the enemies, and then the sound when you pull the trigger is just your character Isaac Clark going BANG! And even though it doesn't visibly shoot any kind of projectile, it still causes enemies to blast apart where you aim the thing. <laughs> so I guess Isaac's fighting the necromorphs with the power of his imagination. Oh, boy. Tag out! I'll say this, he's in pretty good shape for an older guy. Don't mind me, I'm just stopping off to breathe. 
There's a character in this game I've never actually played as, but I am aware of him. He's uh, codenamed HUNK, all caps. So I assume it's some kind of ridiculous acronym behind the scenes. Oh, that was fast. Oh, no! Shit. I forgot I had the Magnum equipped. All right, then since the uh, the timer just went, I guess I'll go back to that platform and we can find out why it's difficult to reload. He just sits down and manually disassembles it because there's no way to actually open the uh, bullet casing chamber. Oh yeah, that would do it. Okay, here's a pistol. Here's the new Magnum. Well, that wasn't very uh, expedient, but you know, I've seen worse. Well, our two heroes may be separated, but uh, I think we're doing all right down here. Um, I'm Burning Dogface, and I'll see you next time on Let's Play Resident Evil Revelations 2. Wait, well, that doesn't make any sense. Oh, good. Later!